back in the days, and I think it's already like 23, 24 years ago, I hooked up with a bunch of friends and we started uh, doing raves and parties. We were big party heads ourselves and our drive was create the best rave experience in the world. And things escalated like five times over already. We started with events for like a thousand people and then it became five, 10, 25, 40. And now we are at 100,000 visitors four days long. Yeah, we literally we were like with a, a group of friends, five, six guys of us, and we did every job possible. After doing that for a couple of years, I sort of, uh, yeah, did every single part of what you can do within a party. And I was like, okay, now I sort of understand the complexity of it all. And I want to create the, the concepts. And I always had very creative part already in me. My fascination with uh, Cirque du Soleil and like the Olympic openings and all sorts of stuff. I was always really like, oh, I want to bring that to our events. And first everybody was like, yeah, that's way too crazy. And then we sort of slowly started. And well, after a while we really created our own way. And then in 2007, eight, nine, every year we got better and deeper and then suddenly we realized, yeah, um, all, all five of us, the original founders, all had some sort of uh, fixation. And I was always more into the creative and the more into the stage design of experience design or uh, creating the shows. Yeah, now that's what we do. So um, my main job is sort of, I'm a conductor of a lot of creative people. Every creative wants to have a crystal clear briefing what they want, of what I want them to make, and they want to have all the creative freedom of the world. So we, uh, we really found a way uh, and how to work with that. That really became my passion. Uh, I always talk about essence or creative direction, because in the end, I'm not the one controlling the lights or making the music or painting the decorations. You know, it's, a one, it's, it's, it's a lot of people who work together in this collective art piece, in a way. We work with a lot of the designers are in-house, so, and, and most of them, especially within that department. We've been working for 15 or 20 years as well. So by now we really know how to get there. We make sure we go out there a lot, you know, experience a lot of other things, travel a lot, a lot of exhibitions, a lot of games, a lot of movies. There's so much stuff out there that we can sort of translate into our world and like translate into a stage. There is some sort of, you can immediately see, ah, that's a cute dance kind of stage, faces or where we're like, ah, oh, okay, this really works. And then we um, go deeper. We don't really completely start from scratch. So many times we just, we sort of know what we want and especially what the, the visitors or the warriors, how we call them, want. And then of course we like to play with that a little because I think the best things should be a little bit experimental or controversial or we strongly believe in doing things people talk about even if they don't like it and like walking on that edge is something we really like like i said we have like our, our stage designer technical designer like four or five really important decoration very interesting team i think like the core is maybe 30, 50 people. And then of course there's like a couple of hundred and sometimes a couple of thousands who actually build it. But those are really in front of uh, a certain discipline. And because we've been working together so long, we really understand each other's process. And I strongly believe in a lot of brainstorming, a lot of heavy discussions. Sharing is caring. So sometimes only, sometimes somebody would only have like a, a sketch. And he's like, no, 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 let me finish it. They're like, no, 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 we're gonna show the rest. And like, no, but it's not finished, yeah? They'll understand, but you, then they'll already see what you're doing or what kind of style or direction you're going. In that sense, I'm sort of a connector 
making sure that everybody's still aware of what everybody's doing. And that can be a big challenge, because like I said, every creator is like, no, 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 I'll finish it first. Like, no, no, no. Well, for one, create the biggest rave or show in the world. Like have a center stage and then have like two or three million people. Like, like created, creating the biggest one tribe experience. I would love to do a, a show with Elon Musk from, uh, from, from, from space. I would love to create like a hotel with every floor has its own theme or experience. Well, of course, I want to have my own experience kind of restaurant. But for now, I'm um, really happy and really blessed. I still feel the... So we're starting the, the new campaign for DEF CON and start selling tickets next week. I'm, I'm seriously like, ooh. So that's good, you know, as long as I still feel the energy, then I'll keep doing this. And then maybe with QDance, we'll expand new worlds or yeah, maybe if uh, I'm like uh, 60, I can uh, do my own Olympic opening show. Who knows? I have a lot of big dreams. Keep the spirit alive.